He's the doctor fighting to let you keep your doctor, and now he's getting one big helping hand from, well, a senator. Uh, Dr. Steve Hotze is suing over Obamacare's employer mandate, and today, Texas Republican Senator John Cornyn announcing his support for the doctor's fight. Doctor, Senator, good to have both of you. Doctor, you are effectively suing the Health and Human Services Administration, more to the point, uh, Kathleen Sebelius, which means you, you are suing the White House. Um, that's an uphill battle. What, what's the battle about? Well, the battle is about Obamacare. Obamacare is the worst uh, piece of legislation that has been passed in the last decade or maybe 25 years. And what it has done is it's destroying small businesses. And small businesses aren't going to be able to afford the increased insurance that's going to be uh, caused by Obamacare and they're going to end up stopping insurance. Their employees are not going to be able to get it. They'll have to go to the exchanges and they won't be able to afford it on the exchange and they won't have insurance. So it's going to do just the opposite of what it intended to do. Less people will have insurance under Obamacare and small businesses will be hurt. As a matter of fact, if you wanted to devise a plan to destroy small businesses, you couldn't come up with a better plan than Obamacare to do that. Senator, your colleague and, and uh, Senate Leader Harry Reid has been saying that, that, that much of this uh, whining and complaining about Obamacare is, is really all made up. Uh, that, that even some of the people we've had on this very show talking about how their coverage was cut or, or the, 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 the overall insurance to keep it as, as increased is just made up. Uh, what do you think of that? Well, I don't think he's been listening to the American people or my constituents in Texas who are finding that all of the promises that were made with regard to if you like what you have, you can keep it, your premiums will go down, and you'll be able to keep your doctor. They're finding that all of that is absolutely untrue. And so I think uh, Senator Reid is becoming increasingly desperate, realizing that this is the most potent political issue uh, this year, which will lead in all likelihood to a Republican majority in the United States Senate, and he'll be no longer the majority leader. Uh, doctor, back to you. I mean, you talk about the mandates and the like, and, and, and you know, the administration says, oh, well, we'll push that mandate back. We'll push this mandate back. We're pushing a lot of things back to, to, to sort of tell essentially guys like you, doctors like you, relax. It's not so bad. What do you say? It just tells you the president realizes what a disastrous bill he's passed. Senator, what do you think of that? Well, it's, uh, Neil, it's, I've never seen a uh, situation before where Congress can pass a bill, admittedly just along party lines, and with the president's signature, it becomes the law, and then the president can uh, waive, delay, or refuse to enforce different provisions of the, of the legislation. But what's so important about Dr. Hosey's suit that we will be uh, filing a friend of the court brief to support is that the Supreme Court hasn't decided whether Obamacare is constitutional under the provisions that require tax or revenue raising bills to start in the House. This could well be a body blow to Obamacare, and I'm sure the uh, president uh, uh, doesn't want that to happen to his signature piece of legislation. Yeah, a lot of people have been referring to the, your, your action, doctor, and senator with your support, that this could be the sleeper grenade for this thing, but we'll watch it very closely. Gentlemen, I want to thank you both. Thank you Thanks, so much, Neil. Neil.